Hi, I'm Jen Gerada, the St. Irenaeus Pastoral Associate and Worship Coordinator. And I thank you for taking the time today to watch this brief instructional video on how to properly clean up after Mass. This is the responsibility of our Eucharistic ministers, and I want to empower everyone that they feel capable and willing uh, to go ahead and clean up and reset for our next Mass. So, the first thing that we do after Mass is we bring the items from communion back here into the sacristy. So uh, you'll find that you just set things on the counter and then I tend to organize my items into those that are going to need special attention and those that are not going to need special attention. So let me explain that to you first. At Mass, the priest, deacon, or minister of the altar purified a couple of the vessels right at the conclusion of communion. They purified the communion bowls in which the sacred body of Christ was distributed. And what you saw them do at mass was clean out each bowl to get the crumbs into the chalice. Okay, so the, the bowls have already been, as we call, purified. Then they also purified the chalice. They added water, swished it around, drank it, and then cleaned it out with a purificator. So those items have already been purified, but the cups that we used to distribute the blood of Christ have not yet been purified, and that is your responsibility. Also, the picks that may have been holding the low gluten body of Christ also needs to be purified. So we're gonna work on that first. I'm gonna take the chalice and with the purificator, just brush out the inside of the picks so that any crumbs that were left are now in the chalice or on the purificator. And I'm just gonna set that picks aside. We're done cleaning the picks. Then with each of the cups, we just want to be sure that any remnants of the body or blood of Christ are consumed instead of going down the sink. The sink in the back sacristy uh, goes to the regular sewage system, just like your kitchen sink. This is not a sacrarium or a sink through which sacred items pass into the ground. So never dispose of crumbs or remnants of the wine in the sink. So what we we'll want to do to purify our cups is we want to add a little bit of water to one of the cups and I'm going to swish it around and then I'm just going to transfer it to the next cup and do the same thing. If you would rather put a little bit of water into each cup, that's fine. So I take each one, purify the cup, and then since I put the crumbs from the low gluten host in the chalice, I'm going to go ahead and pour that into there, okay? I'm going to swish it around, and then I'm going to consume it. If you're not comfortable consuming what's left over, that is fine. Then what you'll need to do is to take the chalice outside and pour the contents into the ground, or you may pour them into any of the living plants that are around in the sanctuary. But the point is, that we don't put the body and blood of Christ back down the sink, okay? That doesn't happen. What we do is we put it into something that's living, okay? So thank you for your attention to that. Then to finish the purification, we're just gonna take one of the purifiers and we're gonna wipe out the inside of each cup And then what we want to do is take all of these purificators and put them on the drying rack. So we take off the items that were here from the last mass and we go ahead and we hang our purificators on the racks so that they have a chance to dry out. Those that were already up here, we go ahead and we put them in the laundry basket back here. So now you're ready to do some washing. You're just going to run some warm soapy water in the sink and there's only one item that you need to pay particular attention to at this point and that's the chalice 
You do not want to immerse the chalice in the water. So just clean out the inside of the chalice with the warm soapy water. Give it a good cleaning on the outside, especially the rim. Rinse it. And then set it over here so your partner who's helping you can dry it. So then we can take all of the cups and we can wash each one. Giving again special attention to the rim. Let's get it nice and clean. We rinse and dry. We do so for all of the cups. We do so for the bowls as well. For the pitcher of wine. And then also for the objects that were used in the um, washing rite for the priest. So all of those items will be washed, dried, and then we will reset for the next mass. So we've provided for you back in the sacristy here, there are instructions and also they're inserted with this email as well. And there are instructions for setup of the weekend masses that include pictures and specific instructions on how to set up the gifts table, the low gluten host table, the credence table, and any other items for the next mass. So I can't tell you how much I appreciate the attention that you give, not only to the detail, but also the reverence of what we are about today. Mass is the opportunity for Catholic Christians to encounter Christ directly through the Word, the Eucharist, through the people in the assembly, and through the priest. And I appreciate the dedication that you give to setting, helping us set the altar and set up for sharing Christ's body and blood with those who come to our Mass. God bless you and thank you for your continued service.